Imagine a $13 billion behemoth, a marvel of modern naval technology, reduced to smoldering wreckage in a mere 20 minutes. This is the chilling scenario that keeps US military strategists up at night. The threat? China's rapidly advancing hypersonic missile program. This is not science fiction, it's a stark reality that underscores the shifting balance of power in the Pacific. The United States, with its formidable carrier strike groups, has long dominated the world's oceans. These floating fortresses, each a mobile airbase bristling with advanced aircraft and weaponry, have been instrumental in projecting American power across the globe. However, this dominance is being challenged as never before. China, with its burgeoning military might, has developed weapon systems specifically designed to target and destroy these symbols of American naval supremacy. Among these are hypersonic missiles, capable of traveling at speeds exceeding Mach 5 or five times the speed of sound. These missiles, armed with advanced guidance systems and maneuverability, pose a significant threat to even the most sophisticated warships, including aircraft carriers. The stakes are incredibly high. The ability of the U.S. Navy to operate freely in international waters, a cornerstone of its global military strategy, is being called into question. This essay will delve into the hypersonic threat posed by China, examine the potential of laser weapons as a countermeasure, and emphasize the urgent need for the U.S. to accelerate its laser development program to safeguard its naval superiority. The USS Gerald R. Ford, the lead ship of its class and a testament to American technological prowess, embodies both the strength and the vulnerability of the U.S. Navy in the face of this new threat. Christened in 2013 and commissioned in 2017, the Ford represents a significant leap forward in aircraft carrier design. At a cost of over $13 billion, the Ford is the most expensive warship ever built. Its massive flight deck, spanning over five acres, can accommodate up to 90 aircraft, including F-35 Sea Lightning II stealth fighters and E-2D Hawkeye airborne early warning aircraft. The ship's advanced electromagnetic aircraft launch system, or EMAILS, and advanced arresting gear, or AAG, allow for increased sortie rates, making it a formidable platform for power projection. However, despite its technological sophistication and firepower, the Ford is not invulnerable. Its very size and cost make it a prime target, a tempting prize for an adversary seeking to deliver a crippling blow to U.S. naval power. The Ford, like all aircraft carriers, relies on a complex network of support ships and aircraft for its defense. This defensive umbrella, while robust, is not impenetrable. Hypersonic missiles with their speed and maneuverability have the potential to overwhelm even the most sophisticated air defense systems. A single, well-placed strike could cripple or even sink an aircraft carrier, highlighting the vulnerability of these symbols of American might. China's rapid military modernization has been a source of growing concern for U.S. defense planners. Of particular concern is the development and deployment of hypersonic missiles, a technology that China has pursued aggressively in recent years. These missiles, capable of traveling at hypersonic speeds, represent a quantum leap in military technology, and China has emerged as a leader in this field. The DF-17, first unveiled in a military parade in 2019, is a prime example of China's hypersonic arsenal. This medium-range ballistic missile is believed to be capable of carrying both conventional and nuclear warheads and has an estimated range of over 1,500 miles. What sets the DF-17 apart is its hypersonic glide vehicle, or HGV. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles which follow a predictable parabolic trajectory, HGVs can maneuver at hypersonic speeds in the upper atmosphere. This makes them extremely difficult to track and intercept, posing a significant challenge to existing missile defense systems. The DF-17, with its HGV, is just one example of China's growing hypersonic arsenal. The advent of hypersonic weapons, particularly those being fielded by China, presents a profound challenge to traditional military doctrines and defense systems. The defining characteristic of hypersonic weapons is, of course, their speed. Traveling at speeds of Mach 5 or higher, these missiles compress the reaction time available to defenders, creating a significant tactical advantage. Traditional ballistic missiles, while powerful, follow a predictable parabolic trajectory. This predictability allows for early detection and tracking, providing defenders with crucial time to scramble interceptors or activate other defensive measures. Hypersonic missiles, however, change the game entirely. 
their ability to maneuver at high speeds makes their trajectories unpredictable, significantly reducing the time available for defenders to react. Imagine trying to hit a bullet with another bullet. That's essentially the challenge posed by hypersonic missiles. Their speed and maneuverability make them incredibly difficult targets for traditional missile defense systems. This compressed reaction time window has far-reaching implications for naval warfare, particularly for aircraft carriers, which are relatively slow-moving and vulnerable to attack. The time it takes for an aircraft carrier group to detect, assess, and respond to a hypersonic missile threat might not be sufficient to prevent a successful attack. This reality underscores the need for new and innovative defense mechanisms, such as directed energy weapons like lasers, to effectively counter the hypersonic threat. Section 5, Lasers A Glimmer of Hope In the face of this growing hypersonic threat, the US military is, you know, exploring a range of countermeasures. Among the most promising are directed energy weapons, particularly lasers. Unlike traditional kinetic weapons which rely on projectiles, lasers harness the power of light, offering a potential solution to the speed and agility of hypersonic missiles. Lasers offer a number of advantages over traditional weapon systems. First and foremost is their speed. Lasers travel at the speed of light, making them effectively instantaneous within a battlefield scenario. This speed makes them ideal for engaging hypersonic threats, which traditional interceptors often struggle to catch. Secondly, lasers offer near-infinite ammunition, as long as a power source is available. Unlike missiles, which are expensive and limited in number, lasers can be fired as long as they have a power supply. This makes them a potentially more cost-effective solution for countering large-scale hypersonic attacks. Furthermore, lasers offer a high degree of precision. They can be focused on a very small area, minimizing collateral damage. This is particularly important in naval warfare, where minimizing civilian casualties and damage to surrounding vessels is paramount. Section 6. The Power of Light. Advantages of Laser Weapons. The potential of laser weapons extends beyond their speed and precision. Their ability to engage multiple targets in rapid succession makes them ideal for countering saturation attacks, where an adversary overwhelms defenses with a large number of missiles simultaneously. Imagine a swarm of hypersonic missiles hurtling towards an aircraft carrier. Traditional missile defense systems, while capable, could be overwhelmed by such an attack. Lasers, however, could engage and neutralize multiple targets in rapid succession, providing a more robust defense against saturation attacks. Moreover, the cost per shot of a laser weapon is significantly lower than that of a traditional missile. While developing and deploying laser weapon systems is a costly endeavor, the cost of firing a laser beam is negligible compared to the millions of dollars it costs to launch a single interceptor missile. This cost-effectiveness becomes even more significant when considering the potential scale of a hypersonic missile attack. Defending against a large-scale attack using traditional interceptors could quickly become prohibitively expensive, while lasers offer a more sustainable and cost-effective solution. The advantages of laser weapons make them a compelling option for countering the hypersonic threat. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that laser technology is still under development, and significant challenges remain before it can be deployed as a reliable defense mechanism against hypersonic weapons. Section 7. The Race Against Time. Laser Development Challenges. While the promise of laser weapons is undeniable, significant technological hurdles remain before they can be deployed as a reliable defense against hypersonic missiles. One of the primary challenges lies in developing lasers powerful enough to effectively neutralize these high-speed, highly maneuverable threats. Existing laser weapons, while effective against smaller targets like drones and small boats, lack the power to destroy or disable hypersonic missiles. The intense heat generated by a hypersonic missile's re-entry into the atmosphere, combined with its speed and maneuverability, requires a laser weapon of significantly higher power output. Another challenge lies in atmospheric attenuation. As a laser beam travels through the atmosphere it can be scattered and absorbed by air molecules, dust particles, and water vapor, reducing its effectiveness. This attenuation is particularly pronounced over long distances, which are typical in naval warfare scenarios. Overcoming atmospheric attenuation requires developing more powerful lasers, as well as advanced beam control and adaptive optic systems that can compensate for atmospheric distortions. These technologies are currently under development but significant breakthroughs are needed before laser weapons can be reliably deployed in real-world scenarios. 
Furthermore, the size and weight of current laser weapon systems pose logistical challenges for integrating them onto naval platforms, particularly aircraft carriers. These systems require large power sources and cooling systems, which can be challenging to accommodate on ships that are already packed with sophisticated equipment. Section 8, Beyond Lasers, a Multifaceted Defense. While lasers hold immense promise, it's crucial to recognize that they are not a silver bullet solution to the hypersonic challenge. A comprehensive defense strategy requires a multi-layered approach, incorporating a variety of technologies and tactics. One such approach involves developing new and improved interceptor missiles specifically designed to engage hypersonic threats. These interceptors would need to be faster, more maneuverable, and equipped with advanced seeker and guidance systems capable of tracking and hitting hypersonic targets. Another area of focus is developing advanced sensor and tracking systems that can detect and track hypersonic missiles with greater accuracy and speed. This includes developing new radar systems, infrared sensors, and even space-based sensors that can provide early warning of hypersonic launches and track their trajectories in real time. Electronic warfare also plays a crucial role in countering hypersonic threats. Jamming systems can disrupt the guidance and communication systems of these missiles, while decoys and chaff can confuse their sensors, throwing them off course. Furthermore, investing in research and development of new materials and coatings that can withstand the extreme heat and forces generated during hypersonic flight is crucial. These materials could be used to develop more resilient warships and aircraft capable of withstanding a hypersonic attack. Section 9, Securing the Future, A Call to Action The emergence of hypersonic weapons, particularly in the hands of potential adversaries like China, presents a significant challenge to U.S. naval dominance. The ability of the U.S. Navy to operate freely in international waters, a cornerstone of its global military strategy, hinges on its ability to effectively counter this evolving threat. Laser weapons, with their speed, precision, and scalability, offer a promising solution. However, significant technological hurdles remain before they can be deployed as a reliable defense mechanism. Overcoming these hurdles requires a sustained commitment to research and development, as well as adequate funding for these programs. Delaying or underfunding laser weapon development is not an option. The hypersonic threat is real and growing, and the U.S. cannot afford to fall behind in this critical technological race. Failure to do so could have dire consequences for U.S. national security and its ability to project power globally. The time to act is now. The U.S. must prioritize and accelerate the development and deployment of laser weapon systems, along with other countermeasures, to ensure the survivability of its aircraft carriers and maintain its naval superiority in the 21st century. The future of U.S. naval power, and indeed its global influence, may very well depend on it.